Hi guys and welcome to Strap of the Week. So in this video I'm going to run through our Giovanna sole and the Giovanna strap number GV24. So the GV strap number 24 comes in three different colours. It comes in our canvas raw, it comes in suede black and then it also comes in this really awesome colour that I'm absolutely loving and that is our satin multicolour. So I'm going to show you how this strap works and a few really cool things that you can actually do with this strap that you might not know that you can do. So this here is our Giovanna sole. So Giovanna is a really, really popular sole with us. Um, it's our high wedge and it's also one of our three button placement soles. So a lot of your straps for your Giovanna can actually be intermixed with other soles that have this same three button placement. And that is the case with the GV24. So I will show you how that works on some of the other shoes in our um, Galley Bell collection as well. So I'm gonna work with, um, well, I'm working with a size seven sole at the moment, which means that I'm generally using a medium size um, strap. So you can refer to our size guide to see what strap we recommend with what size shoe you're wearing. So I'm gonna show you how to put this on and I'm gonna work with our satin multicolor. Now, all of our straps come with a sticker on the right-hand side uh, strap. So that's how you know which strap is made for your right and which is made for your left. The other simple way that you can tell is to always make sure that your buckle is on the outside. So say, for example, I'm working with my right-hand side shoe. I want my buckle to do up on the outside. So that's how I know that that is my right-hand side strap um, if I don't have the sticker on that. So to put this on, really simple, like all of our straps, they're reinforced around the buttonhole with stitching, so you don't need to be too delicate with them. The easiest way to pop them on is to just slide the slit or the button um, hole over the button and then just pull it over the full way and tuck your edges under once you've got it on. So it's really quite simple to put the straps on. So that's our ankle strap on the shoe. Then we were working with our front piece. Now, if there's no sticker on these, it just means that they're the same size, so it doesn't matter um, what shoe you put them on. They'll, they're the same size, they'll work on both. Um, same method, you just slide that over the um, buttonhole, slide it over and tuck your edges under. Okay, so that is how our GV strap number 24 looks like once it's on the shoe. And um, you'll see here the buckle is doing up on the outside. I'll just do that up quickly so that you can see. Now, this strap um, can actually be worn inside out as well. So what that means is already with the one strap, you've got two in one um, that you can reverse. So I'm going to show you how it works on the shoe once we put it on and reverse it. So I'm going to work with um, my suede black here. Now, when you are reversing the straps, you need to remember that your left strap is now going to become your right and vice versa because you are turning it inside out. So this is my um, right hand side strap. My buckle would normally be doing up on the outside. Because I am turning it inside out, it now becomes for my left hand side shoe. So I'm just going to follow the exact same procedure in putting the straps on. And your size here, this is just a sticker, so it just peels off really, really easily um, there. And so there you have it. That's how it looks um, turned inside out. So it's really a um, cool alternative to just wearing it up the right way because you kind of get the two-tone look. Um, so already with the one strap, you've got two in one. Now, another cool thing with this strap is that it can be used on all of our three button placement soles. So what's that, what that means is that you can actually wear this strap on your Danny sole, your um, obviously your Giovanna sole, your Michelle sole, your Sara and your Dees as well. So I'm going to show you what that looks like and I'm also going to show you some other things you can do with this strap. So here I've got our Sara sole, which is our high square heel. So I'm going to show you um, something else that you can do with this strap and how it can work on your Sara sole as well. So what I've got here is my satin multicolor and I've just slid out my second piece here. Now I'm going to turn it inside out and put it back in. So now I've got a strap that looks like that. So just another color option uh, that you can do to give you even more options if you do want them with this one strap. 
your ankle strap. Now you could put that on for the um, color or you could turn it inside out and put it on for the brown. So that's up to you um, how you wanted to do that. So there you go, that's just another color option that you could do with this strap. And this is what it looks like on your Sara sole as well. So now I'm gonna show you on our Michelle sole. So here I've got our Michelle sole. So Michelle is also a square heel, but it is a lower um, alternative to your Sara sole. So it's a little bit higher than your Danny. So what I'm gonna do with this strap on this shoe is simply slide out all the pieces. I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna put it back on with just the two straps without that middle piece. So then you have a completely different looking shoe again. Now the other thing that you could do with this is the same thing, you could reverse one of these straps for the brown um, so that you've got a completely different looking shoe again. So that's how it looks um, with the, the brown the one way around. And then obviously you could do the ankle strap for the brown um, or for the color, um, however you wanted that to look. So I've counted with this one strap five different ways to wear it. So for the one strap, you're getting five different um, looks and you can also intermix it between your different um, soles. So if you do have your low wedge, uh, your Danny, which is this shoe here, and then you had your high shoe as well. So say you had a stiletto in your dece like this, you could actually wear this strap between both those soles and your sizing um, should stay the same. So a really, really versatile strap here, heaps of options, heaps of things you can do with it. And the fact that you can wear it across all of your soles uh, with, your five, with your three button placements is really cool. So yeah, that's your GV strap number 24. So I would love to see the combos that you're wearing uh, with this strap. So feel free to take photos and tag us in them on social media. I love seeing how creative you guys get with um, these shoes and the straps. Thanks for watching. Bye.